Welcome inside the Murray Arena here in Okotoks, Alberta. The site for tonight's HJHL 21 contest between the High River Flyers, Chance Vink back in between the pipes after uh, his goaltender partner, Connor McCarroll, makes a couple of starts in a row, and Casey Thompson making his season debut in net for the Okotoks Bisons. Uh, it's a big game here. High River is one point back of the Bisons for the final playoff spot. Okotoks, of course, that means off to an unideal start uh, in the HJHL 21 simulation. But nonetheless, we are underway here in Okotoks. Now Evan Pakala over to Davis Sheldon. Is uh, High River looking for a quick strike? But uh, it's tied up in down low. Now Sheldon's got it. Sheldon right in front. Couldn't pull the trigger. And now back to the other way comes Tyson Scott. Scott trying to step around Ryan and Canton. Can't do so. And Mitch Wolf got it up to Scott. Scott comes right in. Scott spinning around and sending it to Wolf. Wolf shoots it. It got blocked. And now back uh, comes Nalder. But he turned it over right in front. Stopped by Bink. High River has yet to get into the win column and regulation uh, would be a massive coup for them if they could here uh, chasing down Okotoks for that sixth and final playoff spot here in the South Division. Harrison back to the line. Jordan snaps that one. It gets blocked and goes into the far side corner. And now this puck comes over to the near side. Joel Nalder has to uh, get it to Cole St. Amand. St. Amand is forced to spin back, but he got it to Jacob Jeffries. And Jeffries comes through center. Jeffries to Yonker. Yonker shoots it. Good stop by Thompson. Right out front, a chance. And St. Amand couldn't pull the trigger. It is now a hit on um, the Franchak. Now Yonker near side. Jeffries scores. Turnover by the Bisons in deep. Ends up in the back of their net. Jacob Jeffries. Makes it one nothing High River. The turnover in deep, and uh, those are the ones that are often kill you. Is it's just uh, working around? Nice little tic tac toe play, and no chance for Casey Thompson there. As he surrenders his first goal of HGHL 21, and he didn't have uh, much of a prayer on it. Uh, the uh, Okotoks Bison surrender. Uh, the opening tally here on home ice, and J uh, Dylan Wenzel gets it back to his defense when he comes up to Franchak. Franchak over to the far side, the captain Witski. Witski back to the line, Wenzel. Wenzel knocked off the puck. Marcellus, he lost it, and he's got a right back. Marcellus, now he comes up the near side. That's for Igor Cinco. Cinco now, Marcellus. Marcellus uh, into some duress in his own zone. And the High River Flyers finally able to carry it out. Here's Marcellus over the line in the middle, takes it into the slot. Can't get a shot away. Said just puts it in the near side corner. Travis Scott knocked off the puck by Connor Taylor. Taylor taking right out front, jam it away from a sharp angle. Good stop by Casey Thompson. There's these Okotoks Bisons back donning their third jerseys uh, for this one. Here's Joel Deeprose up top. Wenzel, great save by Fink. Flashes the leather and keeps it out. 13-29 to go here in the opening frame. It's 1-0 still for the High River Flyers. Draw coming to the right side of Chance Fink. Braden Burke, Connor Minchin, Logan McLean for the Flyers. It's Howerluck, O'Bray, and on the far side, Thorpe Barrett, he shoots and scores! Luke Thornbear ties the game for Okotoks. Weber and Howerluck get the assist. And what a shot by Thornbear right underneath the bar. We're tied up at one. Off the bar and in Luke Thornbear, his third of the year. And the Okotoks buys it right back in this thing. Chase Gronbelt stolen from him. Here's Howerluck. Chance for the lead. Knocked off the puck. Now Chase Gronbelt. He draws back into the lineup in this one. Put in deep. And gathering that one there is Weber. And Weber will start back out for the Bison. Sending it up to Austin Obrey. Obrey stepping around one. Now to Thornberry in front. 
but he couldn't get his second. Good stop made with a glove hand by Chance Bank. 12 and a quarter to go here in the first period. High River opened the scoring, but Okotoks responds. We are tied up at one. It's Bedard, Leduc, and Thiessen out there for the Bisons. There's now a one-timer. Tyson Leduc stopped there, and now Bedard, he's knocked off the puck. And here come the High River Flyers. This is Braden Burke. Nifty move. He's got a man in the net. Burke shoots it, but he didn't get nearly. <laughs> didn't get all of it. I don't think he got. I don't think he got a tenth of it. Comes harmlessly to Casey Thompson, and he's going to hold on to that. Is uh, final game of the triple header on your Saturday afternoon. Earlier today, the Lomond Lakers. They were in Cochrane. The Generals win that one 4-2. And the Coldale Copperheads in Strathmore. Coldale able to uh, pull that one out. Tomorrow we'll at uh, four games. We'll get you updated on that schedule uh, a little later on. As we flip back to the North Division. Now here's LeDuc in front. LeDuc shooting. And here is Bedard. Bedard trying to get that one up to the line. Can't. Cole St. Amand has it. Got it to Josh Yonker. Yonker starts in center, gave it to Jacob Jeffries. Jeffries to Cole St. Amand. St. Amand right in front to Jacob Jeffries. Pulls the trigger and good stop by Thompson who elects to keep that alive. And as here come the Bisons through center. It's Hale. Hale of the line. Drops off on the near side here. Back to the point. Thorn Bear through traffic. Oh, shot. And that misses. Ah, just a bit outside by a country mile. There's Luke Thornbear let that one go from the line and ended up being a breakout pass for the High River Flyers. But meanwhile, here come the Bisons back again. But good back pressure there by Mike McTie. He takes it back. Now comes to Ryan Canton. Gives to Davis Sheldon. Sheldon here on the uh, near side. There's a hard hit right in the numbers by Luke Thornbear. No call. And now a hard hit on the far side. Now we're going to get a scrap. Mitch Wolf going at it with Evan Pakala. Pakala stepped up on Witski, and Wolf is going right after him. Meanwhile, Pakala, he tags him over the top. Underneath comes Mitch Wolf. Pakala, he eats one over the top, takes one underneath, and he gives one himself. Mitch Wolf and Pakala right in front of the Okotoks bench. Pakala underneath, he misses. Over the top, Wolf misses. Oh, what a right hand by Evan Pakala! Then down goes Wolf! A clubbing right! And Mitch Wolf, who started it, Evan Pakala finished it with authority. Looking like Mike Tyson. Mitch Wolf, no worse for the wear. Ty Witzke, hopefully uh, all right as well. He's the one who got drilled. That's what set that off. Calvary, and uh, all that's come out of that is fighting majors. So we stay five on five as meanwhile, Travis Scott is offside. Tomorrow. Your Sunday afternoon. Rocky in Pinocchio, that's at 1. Mountain View at Sylvan Lake, that's at 2.30. We have one little switch at 4 o'clock. We'll go three hills at Stellar. And your prime time game, if you will, 5.30. Red Deer at Airdrie. Should be a good one. Here come the Okotoks Bison's Austin Obrey. Obrey's knocked off the puck. And now it comes to Connor Minchin. Minchin got it to Burke. As Minchin got drilled there on the far side. Here's Braden Burke. Burke over the line. Burke into the middle. Connor Minchin. A one-timer to the far side. Great save, Thompson. Comes across. No rebound, and he'll freeze that. There's uh, bodies. Let him hit the floor early here in this one. Physical affair between the Okotoks Bisons and the High River Flyers. Uh, geographically, these two teams... Uh, very close, and a one-timer here, Davis Sheldon. Nearly made a 2-1 high river. Sheldon's got it back, top of the circles into the corner. Yonker, he's got it, Yonker up top, Sheldon. Yonker's got it right back. Josh Yonker's knocked off the puck, and this puck is tied up in deep. Here with it is Ty Alger. Alger will come to the near side for Nick Jordan. Jordan pestered there and stolen by Yonker over to the far side, Chase Groenville. Now right up front, Yonker hit the post! Josh Yonker, the captain, 
nearly makes it 2-1 High River. Good job there by Nash Hartford. Takes the puck away and he steps right in. Hartford centering pass. Good job by Tyson Scott to take that away. It comes to Ty Alger now. Still tied up at one here in Okotoks. It's entertaining. First period. Got it all. Got a couple of goals. Got fights. Got big hits. It's a good time. Connor Taylor. He's right in. He's shot it. Got blocked. Comes back to the line. Held in by Nash Hartford. Taylor. Side of the goal. Right out front. Good job by Travis Scott. Intercepted that and away he comes. Scott in on the near side. Chips this one in deep in behind Vink. And this one will be gathered by Taylor in the far side corner. But Thornbear gets it to Jordan. Jordan to Scott. Through traffic. Hits a body. Goes up high and wide. And Connor Taylor knocked off the puck in behind the goal. Taylor now goes to Nash Hartford. Hartford over to Mike McTie. McTie knocked off the puck. He comes right back to Hartford. Hartford in. Hartford. Igor Cinco. Cinco. Loops back. Now here's Joel Nalder. He shot it. Good blocker save made there by Casey Thompson. Here come the Okotoks. Bisons gets in deep. Joel Nalder's got control. Nalder stolen from him by Jagger Thiessen. Comes down to Minchin. Minchin in behind the goal. A buck 15 to go in this first period. High River and Okotoks tied up 1-1. One -one. Jagger Thiessen's going to put it in deep. It'll be gathered here by Ryan Canton. He takes a shot in deep but the high river flyers maintain control connor minchin with a half minute to play over the line it didn't come out minchin maintains uh the lot the zone but not anymore as back the other way comes bedard bedard got crunched off the puck it comes right to braden burke as the final seconds will come off the clock here and uh meanwhile as the period ends the okotoks bisons will take a penalty late so the high river flyers uh, we'll start with a full two minutes of uh, power play time. Tied up at one. Early here, it's Jacob Jeffries getting the Flyers on the board. But uh, Luke Thornbear says, ah, not on my watch. And instead, it ties the game right back up. 1-1 one, one through 20 minutes. But the Flyers start with two minutes of power play time in the second. 7-5, High River out shoots Okotoks. And meanwhile, Bedard will go off for tripping late, uh, right at the end of the second period. So it's a full two-minute power play for the High River Flyers here to start the second period. Joel Depot's knocked out the puck, and back in comes Evan Pakala. Pakala cuts in the middle. Pakala shoots it. It goes just wide. And Thompson will hold on to that as it comes off the end boards. Next up for these two clubs, they'll be in action on Monday. Okotoks is back at home. Uh, they will take on the Medicine Hat Cubs. High River back on the road in Cochrane. Okotoks game, that'll start at uh, 5 o'clock. The High River game in Cochrane will start at 6.30. Uh, so mark your calendars. If that's what's going to happen. Bucko 8 to go on the High River Power Players. Jacob Jeffries tied up on the far side by Deep Rose. Jeffries back to the middle. Nalder. Now Pakala far side. Jeffries. Surprised he didn't shoot that. Deferred instead to Davis Sheldon as the Okotoks Bisons intercept and send this one down the ice. Here's Sheldon now through center. Sheldon over the line. He comes in on the right. Now it comes into the middle. Great passing play finished by Evan Pakala. It's 2-1 Flyers. Three-way passing play. That was pretty. As both the, Oak both the High River goals, excuse me, have been uh, rather nice. Tic-tac-toes, if you will. This time it's Evan Pakala. The first one was obviously Jacob Jeffries. But the Flyers on the power play do capitalize late in it and make a 2-1 high river. And it's an important game for them. It'll be the first time all year they've, they've put themselves in a playoff position. So if they can uh, win in any fashion uh, this evening... Uh, that would make uh, 
Okotoks fall out of a playoff position. And, you know, the standings this year, meanwhile, uh, I think Okotoks hit another penalty here. Standings this year are a little bit out of whack. I mean, you got Three Hills doing well in the north. Red Deer was at least for a little bit scuffling there. And, um, you got Okotoks struggling in the south. Lowman's doing all right. Uh, Austin Obrey, meanwhile, is going to go off for tripping. So yeah, but that's, uh, you know what, there's an old saying. That's why you play the games in our case. That's why you sim the games. And now this one's sent down the ice by Travis Scott. Okotoks uh, gets a clear early. High River going to work on the man advantage, trying to take a two-goal lead. Here's Cole Sainte, man. He's going to put this one in deep. Gathered there, and uh, it was I thought it was going to be taken behind the net, but couldn't dig it out, Scott. It was Yonker, Yonker to St. Amand in the front. Now it's going to come back to Yonker. He just missed it wide. Marcellus back to the line, Bolivar. St. Amand up top, Yonker. Now Taylor far side. What a stop by Thompson. Came across and made the save, and he covers it up. Still a minute nine remaining on the man advantage for High River. Seventeen oh seven to go in the second period. Draw is won by Okotoks and fired the length of the ice by Nick Jordan. Left at the side of the goal, and now here's Josh Marcellus up to Cole cool Saint Amand. Saint Amand starts over the line. Saint Amand tries to get around Nick Jordan, couldn't do so. Comes right in front though to Joel Deep Rose, and Deep Rose will make no mistake and fire it. The full 200 down to a half minute of power play time remaining as Connor Taylor gets it to Yonker. The High River captain will start in. Josh Yonker stops up, looks to the middle, finds Cole St. Amand. He shoots it, goes high and wide. Josh Yonker, backhander from right in front, loose puck still. And Nick Jordan sends it to full 200. That will do it. We are back to five on five. Good kill for the Bisons. It stays 2-1 Flyers. This puck comes up to Jacob Jeffries. Jeffries knocked off the puck. It'll come to Jordan in his own zone. And now here comes Austin Obre. Obre over the line to the far side. Jordan got it to Mitch Wolf. Wolf now starting in through center. Wolf over the line near side. Wolf right up front. Great save chance make. Tyson Scott denied right in front point blank. Chance make keeps it out. And here come the High River Flyers. They will put it in deep. Gathered there by Mitch Wolf. Wolf appears nowhere for the wear after eating a big right hand in a fight earlier with Evan Pakala. And here is Wolf now. Wolf centering pass, neatly knocked down. And Mike McTie in the corner. Bedard takes away from him. His centering pass gets intercepted by Jacob Jeffries. And now here's Pakala. Pakala through center over the line, far side, stolen from him by Hale. As LaDuke is off the bench. LaDuke three on two, maybe to the near side. Thiessen couldn't get a shot away off the rebound. Weber through traffic to flex off a body over to the far side on the half boards. And now here is Jacob Jeffries. Got it to McTie. You got it to Sheldon. Sheldon, he starts through center. Uh, loops back a little bit, looking for a lane entry. He finds it into the zone. Now comes off the wall on the far side in front of McCalla. He couldn't shoot it. Burke's right there. He can't get a shot away either. And Weber comes in to carry this one to safety for Okotoks, and he carries it in offensively. Weber stopping up, looking to get it back to the line. Can't do so, and Joel Nalder's got it. Weber tied up along the far side, near side boards. Right uh, near the Okotoks, uh, the High River line, excuse me, is the Flyers had it carried in on him, but they carry it right back out. It's Braden Burke. Burke stolen from him by Weber over to the far side. Obre now into the middle. It is Bedard. Bedard starts through center, takes it in, puts it in deep. Over on the far side is Nash Hartford. Hartford to Joel Nalder. Nalder now to Minchin, and Minchin will carry it in. Connor Minchin for the High River Flyers. Carries in near side. Can't get a shot away. Definitely played there by Joel Depros. And now a pass right up to the, the line. It's going to be Franchak. Drops off. Wenzel shoots. Good stop by Vink. And he'll freeze that as he falls on top of it. Dylan Wenzel, his uh, brother, also playing in HJHL 21 for the Airdrie Thunder. 9.33 to go here in this second period. It is High River 2, Okotoks 1. 
Roland Vell got it up to Igor Sinko. Igor Sinko to Taylor. Taylor to the backhand. Oh, what a stop by Thompson. Kicked it out and got it with the right pad. Now it's tied up in the near side corner. Here's Tyson's Travis Scott. Got it to Kyle Harrison. And Harrison will carry it out. Got it to Dylan Wenzel. Wenzel. He lets a shot go, blockered away. Igor Sinko has control of the puck. It'll come to Nash Hartford, who starts out through center. Hartford trying to get around his man. Hartford right out front, chipped on goal, stopped by Thompson. Seven minutes, 36 seconds to go. In period number two, what a stop there by Casey Thompson. His team down right now, but certainly uh, through no fault of his own. Is the draw won by Jeffries near side Yonker. Saint a man, Bolivar, through traffic. As Thompson, just out at the top of his crease, will swallow that one standing up, and he'll hold on to it as well. Face off to the right side of Casey Thompson here. Seven and a quarter, or thereabouts, left in the second period, 10-6. Faceoff's favorite, Okotoks, make that 11-6. They'll win this one deep in their own zone. Here's Ty Alger starting through center. Turned it over at the line, and now it comes to Jacob Jeffries. Jeffries, so back over to the near side. Bolivar, line to line pass for Yonker. Yonker carries in. Yonker, he'll put that in deep. Gallard behind his own goal by Kyle Harrison, and the Bisons will come back out. Now it's Ty Alger, knocked off the puck. Comes back into the Bison zone. Now Mitch Wolf curls in front of his own net. Wolf still spinning away from a check in his own zone, able to get it to the near side boards for Kyle Harrison. Harrison carries in offensively for Okotoks, stops up, looks to the line, nobody home. Harrison still back to Hale. Hale now, Ty Alger. Alger to Hale. Hale, Scott, far side, one timer, couldn't get it away. Hale shoots it. That gets blocked, and now here comes Cole St. Amand. St. Amand right in. St. Amand on the far side, he's got a man, but he shoots it himself. Stop by Thompson. Great stop by Casey Thompson with the glove on Cole St. Amand. And the faceoff will be to Casey Thompson's right. And this draw will be won and controlled by the Okotoks Bisons. Weber got it up to Luke Thornbear. Thornbear drives wide. Thornbear. Obrey stopped by Bink. Bink came across to the far side. Austin Obrey. He had time to pick a corner, but Chance Vink out at the top of his crease. Makes himself big and makes the save. Four minutes and 16 seconds to go in the second period. Deep rows to the line, Scott. Obrey, Thornbear shoots it. Got blocked on the way through. Nalder over to McTie. And McTie carries this one up through center. McTie, he carries it in still. McTie looking to the front of the net. Taken away from him by David Sheldon. And now it's Cindy Pekala. Pekala up top. Canton gave it right back to Sheldon down the boards. Sheldon into the middle from Mike McTie. McTie can't get a shot away. It's stolen from him by Luke Thornbear. And Thornbear comes out. Luke Thornbear in over the line on the far side now. In the corner. Puts us in deep behind the high river goal. Obrey back to the line. Deep rows back to Thornbear. Obrey out front. Comes to Travis Scott. Can't pull the trigger. Scott. He's pestered at the line, but held in here by Bedard. Thornbear looking to get a shot away from the far side, top of the circles. Couldn't do so. And now here comes Evan Pakala. He's in over the line, left wing. Pakala drops off Minchin. Minchin's got it high slot. Minchin pestered there hard by Bedard, and he couldn't get a shot away. Here comes Travis Scott. Scott into the middle. Here's Thornbear. Save, rebound, scores! Luke Thornbear, second of the game. And it is the Okotoks Bisons tying it back up. Late strike, second period. Rebound left there, vulnerable by Chance Vink. Here you get a great wide shot of the barn going bananas. Okotoks <clears throat> with a late second period equalizer, a buck and a quarter to play. In the second, that is. Don't get too excited. Hold your horses. Here comes Tyson Leduc. Back the other way, Leduc. He's just going to shovel this one in deep. Chase Groenveld in behind his own goal. Puts this up to Braden Burke. Burke knocked off the puck, but he's got it right back. Burke will carry in. Burke, a nifty move, trying to step around. Wolf couldn't do so. And Wolf's got it in front of his own goal. Shovels over to Tyson Leduc. 
Laduke knocked out the puck. Here's Nick Jordan. Jordan to Thiessen. Maybe one last shot for Okotoks. And Jagger Thiessen put it way high and wide. So that will do it. 40 minutes in the books. It is 2-2. And down the stretch we come in a tied hockey game. What a period. And you got a pretty good chance of winning a game. Okotoks ties it up there. Luke Thornbear, 2-2 through 40 here at the Murray. 15-11, the shots favor. High River, welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back inside the Murray Arena. Tongue tied. How Al Hart's talking, really. Talk much? I actually do. As on the far side, David Sheldon corrals, and we are underway third period here in Okotoks. Tied up at two between the Bisons and the Flyers. Kyle Harrison comes right in. Drops off for Tyson Scott. Scott, he shoots it, but it's blocked. Comes neatly to Joel Nalder, and Nalder got it to Davis Sheldon. Sheldon trying to step around Nick Jordan. Couldn't do so. He got it up to Harrison. Harrison at the line. Harrison trying to put it in deep. Couldn't. Shot there through traffic. Blocked by Davis Sheldon. And the High River Flyers are not able to get it out. It's held in by Tyson Scott. The second opportunity to get it out. Davis Sheldon will as Nick Jordan gains the puck and comes in offside. Kyle Harrison was an early season hero in Okotoks home opener. An overtime winner as the Bisons defeated the Coaldale Copperheads. Hard hit there on the near side, but meanwhile, Austin O'Bray's got control. And now Dylan Wenzel able to get it up to O'Bray. Back to the line, Tyson, Travis Scott. Now Joel Deprost, Riker Franchek, back to the line. Scott through traffic. He stepped into it and ripped it low and hard, but wide. Here now is Jacob Jeffries. Nifty move to get around his man. Skates onto it in the offensive zone on the near side. Stolen from him by Joel Deeprose. Deeprose now in the middle of his own zone, able to get it to Obrey on the near side who carries it out. He defers to the middle for Wenzel. One timer there for Franchak. Glove save by Vink. Three minutes, 36 seconds have come and gone here in the third. Okachoks had a real good look at taking the lead, but uh, Chance Vink had other ideas, 15 to seven. And High River just getting caved and draws. Here's Dylan Wenzel. Wenzel can't get a shot away. And Josh Marcellus retreats back into his own zone. But it's stolen by Wenzel briefly, but Craig Cormos able to get it right back for High River. Cormos will put this one in deep. Weber has control in behind his own goal. It will come to Riker Franchak. Franchak over to, ooh, excuse me, Jagger Thiessen. Thiessen right out front. Great blocker save made there by Chance Vink. And now it's Franchak to Tyson LaDuke. LaDuke drops off. Tyson ragging off the post. Tyson LaDuke stolen from him. Back comes Connor Taylor. Taylor's in over the line. He stops off. Cuts to the middle. Taylor. Clay Carbo. Shot stopped by Thompson. 6 one gone here in this third period. Still tied up at two. Couple of chances. Both ways, though. Bedard against Minchin on the draw. It's to the left side of Casey Thompson here. And the draw is won cleanly by High River. Groenveld over to the far side. Burke now to Logan McLean. McLean tried to spin away from a check. Couldn't. It gets knocked out. Groenveld has to take control of that in the neutral zone. High River got to regroup. Here now is Nash Hartford. Hartford over the line, trying to take it to the middle, but it's taken away from him, and it ends up on the stick of Tyson LaDuke. LaDuke gives up now to Nick Jordan in his own zone. Now it comes to Mitch Wolf. Wolf up to Tyson Alger. Alger can't get a shot away. Wolf, he skates onto it. Now back to the point. That's Jordan. Here's a chance for Alger. Alger can't get that one away, and it's gathered on the near side. That is Nash Hartford. Hartford comes to the near side. Here's Burke. Braden Burke, he's got a pass to the net. Burke shoots it. Great save. Kicked out with the right pad by, by Casey Thompson. And now it's turned over. Here is McTie shooting it just wide. Can't believe I forgot the goalie's name for half a second. But when you create 350 players and call like two or three games a day, sometimes four, that'll happen. Here is McTie. McTie now turns it over to Mitch Wolf. This is loose in the high slot. Gathered here by Kyle Harrison. 
Harrison. Up to Scott. Here comes Tyson. Tra Travis Scott. Nope, that is Tyson, the forward. Excuse me. Doesn't help. You know, if you got two guys on your name on the your team with the same name, and they both have the first initial, same first initial, why bother putting the first initial on there? They're both T Scott. Like that doesn't help me. At all. Back to the line, Canton. Canton down front. David Sheldon! Oh, what a stop! By Thompson out front, Caleb out. Cole say demand. He shoots it wide on the glove side. 8:50 to go here in the third period. This shoveled in by Okotoks. Okotoks chasing here. Now it's going to end up in Nalder right behind his own goal. Kicked it over to the far side. Ryan Canton. Now it's here for Davis Sheldon. Sheldon over the line through center. Turns it over. Luke Thornbear, two goals in the game today. He's just going to shovel it in deep, but it's gathered by Nalder again. Nalder to the far side, St. Amand. St. Amand, he is knocked off his stick, and he gets it right in. Paul St. Amand, right in. He shoots it. It got blocked. Here is Joel Deeprose. Deeprose has it tied up there on the near side. Trying to dig this one loose. It got on goal, and... And I, Casey Thompson is just going to freeze that one. And with 7-12 to go, we're still tied up at two. Face off, left side of Casey Thompson. 16 stops in the game. Back to the line, Bolivar. Cinco up top, Taylor. Taylor trying to spin away from a check. Couldn't do so. Taken by Howerluck. Howerluck stolen from him by Taylor. Taylor, great work, keeps it in. Igor Cinco to the line. Here's Liam Bolivar, through traffic! Great save, Thompson, able to make it with the glove and hold on, no rebound. Casey Thompson saw that one through traffic the whole way and Liam Bolivar got every square inch of that puck. He absolutely blasted that one from the line. It got through traffic. And it got on goal. El Marcellus, a turnover in front. He snapped it wide. He just spun and fired it. Didn't miss it by much. But it comes up. The end board's right back to Casey Thompson. And Casey Thompson will hold on. Six minutes and six seconds to go here in the third period. And guess what? We are all even. 2-2. Two, two. He's overtime on the docket here. The late game on your Saturday afternoon. Connor Bedard. Uh, lost. Uh, originally looked like he lost the draw at least, but instead he wins it. Here comes Weber. Weber over the line. One timer, but Quaid Cormos disrupts that. That might have been the Okotoks game winner right there. But instead it's shoveled in deep by the Bisons. Liam Bolivar will come back out. High River has been overtime quite a bit uh, this year. In fact, I believe two of their last three games have gone beyond 60 minutes. Here comes Igor Sinko. Sinko over the line. Turned it over. Now here comes Hale. Hale over the line for Okotoks. He puts it right in front. Went to, oh, he lost it. He couldn't get a shot away. And instead it came right on to Chance Vink, who wisely holds on. Four minutes, six seconds to go. Well, High River there beat Coldale. And Medicine Hat, those two games uh, went to overtime. They beat Coldale in OT, lost in OT, uh, lost in a shootout, better uh, yet, to Medicine Hat. As Braden Burke got it up, now it's Connor Minchin. Three minutes, 20 seconds to go here in this third period. Okotoks 2, High River 2. Sent up the far side boards for Tyson Scott. Knocked off the puck, Harrison skates onto it. Scott's got it, Scott, one-timer, Alger! Scores! Light strike, Ty Alger has given the Bisons a 3-2 lead! Not a bad time for your first Tyler Alger! What a feed backhand, no less, from Tyson Scott to Ty Alger! No chance for Chance Vink on that one. And now High River going to need some late heroics. They want to salvage points here tonight. Two minutes and 47 seconds. All that's left on the clock in this one. Mike McTie tries to shovel it in deep instead. Uh, this is going to work out better for High River. In fact, it comes right on to Casey Thompson, and he's got to freeze it.
Face off left side of Thompson here. Sheldon out there with McTie and Pakala. Lost the draw cleanly, however, to Okotoks. And like I said, the uh, High River has been getting caved on draws all night. Shovel in deep by Mike McTie. As Mitch Wolf has got the puck. Wolf now. Austin Obrey knocked off the puck. McTie. Sheldon. He cannot get a shot away. Meanwhile, uh, Austin Obrey struggling to get up. He looks no worse for the wear now. And here comes Dylan Wenzel. Wenzel over the line. Knocked off the puck. He skates right back onto it. Right in front. Great save by Vink. He keeps this one alive. And High River is still in it. Here comes Cole St. Amand. He's got a man in the net. He shovels it back to Nolder. Nolder. Jeffrey shoots. Great save off the shoulder. The right shoulder of Casey Thompson. And it stays out. Here come the... Okotoks Bisons, Wenzel right in, Wenzel by himself, glove save by Bank. 39.7 seconds to go in this third period. Okotoks three, High River two. Face off deep in High River territory. High River gonna need to win the draw, and get this thing up ice, and then get Bank to the bench. They won't win the draw. Weber to Wenzel. Wenzel knocked off the puck, but he's got it right back in the corner. Braden Burke digs this loose. Still half a minute to play here in regulation. Braden Burke will get it in deep in the High River Flyers. Pull the goaltender. They are six on five, but here comes Wenzel through center as uh, the High River Flyers end up electing not to get uh, Vink to the bench quite yet, but they're running out of time. Just uh, 15 seconds to go. Now 11. This, uh, this is Logan McLean. He's got to get this up nice quickly. Gave it to Canton. And Canton unable to put that one in deep. This thing's done. Late strike. Ty Olger wins it for Okotoks. 3-2 is your final. And that is a disaster for the High River Flyers who needed some kind of points out of the game uh, this afternoon. Okotoks, who had occupied the last playoff spot, just what were one point up on High River, although they did have a game in hand. But now they go four points up on High River and keep that game in hand. So it's, uh, you know, High River, it's a tough road back here. You know, you're, you're in the seventh spot, the only uh, spot that will miss the playoffs. You're in Cochran on Monday. And then you're in, uh, you're at home to these same Bisons on Thursday. And then you host Madison Hat on Friday. So three challenges, to say the least, coming up for the High River Flyers. And I mean, I would dare say that if you drop all three of those, it's probably lights out. Good night, Jim Kite, for the High River Flyers. Uh, I would think of those available nine points. Of those available nine, I would say you got to have... Oh, well, who, do they, who do they got again? Let me just pull up my trusty schedule here because I made it myself on a sheet of paper. You're in Cochrane on Monday. Okotoks, you're at home to Okotoks on Thursday and at home to Medicine Hat on Friday. So nine points available there. I I would say you you got to have at least five. I mean, when you got a zero in the, in the regulation win column, it doesn't help. I've completely missed the three stars, by the way, because I'm breaking down a, a freaking video game like a real beauty on a Saturday night. But hey, you know what? I, I, if I'm, I'm nothing if I'm not for the boys, right? Gotta get this. I'm so deep into this simulation, there's no way I can stop. Anyhow, yeah, I think High River's gotta have at least five of those nine. And none of them are easy. Cochran's not. Okotoke's certainly not. And neither is Medicine Hat, so... Hey, Work starts today. All right. So uh, let's take a look at your scoring summary. High River opens it. Jacob Jeffries, three minutes and 50 seconds into the game from Josh Yonker and Ryan Canton. The uh, Okotoks Bisons tie it up uh, just under three minutes later. Luke Thornbear from Weber and Hallerlich. 
Evan Vacala gets the Flyers back out in front at 132 from Jacob Jeffries and David Sheldon. I believe that one was a power play goal. Luke Thornbear, though, second of the game, ties it back up for Tyson with Tyson Leduc, and I believe that one was Travis Scott on the assist. And then uh, at 17-13, late in the third period, Ty Alger scores what ends up your game winner from Tyson Scott and Kyle Harrison. And guess what? That's all she wrote in this one. I'm just going to check this real quick. Yeah, one of them was Tyson. The other one was uh, Travis. Just for when I update the stats, that'll help me. All right, well, thanks for tuning in today. It was a lot of fun. Uh, let's do it again tomorrow, of course, and uh, we'll talk to you then.